A big test for St. Paul's as the undefeated Leopards came to town. The Saints welcome to the field by the youth football players tonight. The Saints looking to cap an early drive with a 41-yard field goal. But the snap goes way over the head of Grayson Miles. No chance to pull this one down, and it's a 20-yard loss, giving Blunt great field position. St. Paul's holds the Leopards to fourth and seven. Coach Lev Holly decides to go for it, and quarterback LaMarcus Brown airs it out. St. Paul's Bester McFadden says, no, sir. He gets the pick and ends the Panthers' drive. St. Paul's now on the move. First play of the second quarter. Quarterback Jay Green connects with Bill Johnson. It's a 13-yard TD pass to get the Saints the first score of the game, and that fires the home crowd up. Blunt trying to answer. Brown fakes the handoff and heads the other way. There's nothing but green grass in front of him. Brown picks up 30 yards before he's brought down. That would be the highlight of the drive, though. St. Paul's now driving again. Green rolls to his left and throws to the end zone into a lot of traffic. The pass is 10 and intercepted by Blunt's Jordan Harris Mitchell. Mitchell elects to run it out, but he's knocked out at the one, backing the Leopards' offense up against their own goal line. St. Paul's gets the ball back after a Blunt punt, and Jay Green goes back on the attack. This time he lets it fly and finds Will Passau. Passau hauls it in and takes it in for a 30-yard touchdown catch. This puts the Saints up by two scores late in the second, and that's how it went to the half. St. Paul's leading Blunt 14 to nothing. Now, Blunt really came back in the second half, and they uh, check this out. 79 yards. This is Jarvis Williams for Blunt taking that one down 79 yards into the end zone. This gives Blunt 20 points. They go for two on this, but miss, and that makes it 21 20. Now, St. Paul's comes back, scores late. They did go for two. The final in this one 29 to 20. Bring in head coach Steve Mass for the Saints. Coach, this is a, a nail biter. This really got to be where it's a special teams game, some miscues on snaps, but it took a lot of character, I think, as you've said before, with this team to hang in there, didn't it? Well, it was Friday the 13th and a full moon. What do we expect on Friday the 13th and a full moon? But I've said it for the last three weeks, the character of this team is unbelievable. We've been on a roll the last three weeks, the park crossing, having to come from behind three times to win, and ball and counter down 14 to nothing, and then stave off a really good blunt team tonight and put the thing away in the fourth quarter. But, you know, two really good football teams. This is the first game you didn't have to come from behind, isn't it? You know, I think it is. I think it is. We felt like we were behind there for a minute. <laughs> when that number three took off running, I thought, oh, Lord, we're in trouble now. We were in trouble. He's good. But, uh, you know, give our kids credit, and that's Coach Speakman's the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, our, our kids just hung in there and found a way to, to finally put them away, and, and we did that late, and uh, just very proud of the Saints. And quarterback Jay Green really seemed to hold his composure tonight, and uh, wish you all the best moving forward, Coach. Hal, thank you. All right, Pretty congratulations, a big okay. win, and Jake Paul still undefeated in region play, so there's the answer to that question I gave you. And uh, they'll be moving uh, moving on from here, and, and I'll tell you, they, they played a great game tonight, and as he said, they staved off a big on slot from Blunt in the second half to take the win in this one, Bree.